What's up everyone, welcome to episode 2 of my top 10 setups of the day. Before we get started, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more lists of these amazing setups. Here is an excellent blue themed RGB setup by Top Secret Muffin. For the desk he's using the IKEA Marm dressing table with the pullout removed. This is a nice creative IKEA hack that I've actually not seen used before. RGB strips were used for the blue lighting effect attached to the giant tiled picture frame to really nicely box off the setup from the rest of the room. Despite being quite limited by desk width, they've managed to stack two monitors on top of each other and fit what looks to be an NZXT H500 i case in white. They've also drilled a hole in the desk to put away the wiring of the mouse and keyboard and try and minimise the amount of cables on display. Multiple monitors are of course an essential for anyone with trading in mind and Poke B surely doesn't disappoint with this multi-monitor setup. Although maybe looking a little cluttered for me with the books on the desk, it is for sure cosy and adds a lot of personality. With a widescreen main monitor and then the vertical mount off to the side, there is a ton of screen space to keep track of the madness going on in the stock market at the moment. This setup is instantly going to get bonus points for this super cute dog sat under the desk. Underscore Knight has a wonderful two monitor setup on top of the Hago modern L shaped desk, perfect for a home office setup. Edifier R1280 T speakers flank the monitor and fit in well with the dark colour theme. The PC case they are using is a H500 mesh case with a few Corsair LL120s for RGB cooling, of course. One thing I would change here is to get that PC off of the carpet and at least onto a better stand for better airflow and to reduce dust buildup. I love the Funko Pop collection off to the side for some personalisation. I'd maybe get these on a shelf or something to have them in full view. This setup from Marius Codes features the beautiful IKEA Upper B tabletop with the IKEA Alex drawers underneath. The monitor shelf is then made out of another IKEA Upper B top cut down to one third of its size. One feature of this setup I love is the flip clock on the right side, which looks really interesting. The chair is the IKEA Aleph Hal, which looks super stylish with the white setup. Five inch Yamaha studio monitors flank the single monitor, a Samsung C34J. That's a 34 inch widescreen curved monitor and looks incredible in this sleek and minimal setup. Super cozy setup by Fake Virtual with what looks to be the Jarvis electric stand desk by Fully with a custom top made from walnut. Opting for a single ultra wide monitor held up by the sturdy Ergotron LX monitor arm, this setup has plenty of room and is kept fairly minimal with a small potted plant off to the side. The monitor has a BenQ screen bar to provide lighting to you but prevents screen glare at the same time, which is super handy in my opinion. Something tells me that Panadog likes his desk setup to be all wood themed. Just look at how incredible that PC case is looking, absolutely fantastic. They've gone for a vertical stack for the double monitor with the Dell U2515H on top and the Acer XV330CK on bottom. The desk is a Yezinia writing desk which has an absolutely fantastic contrast between the off-white top and angled legs with the wood grain finish. The bookshelves on the side give it some great personality and a nice homely feeling and of course they are wooden as well. Great setup here, really nice and clean, I just personally couldn't mount a monitor that high up without having neck issues. This setup by Lower Than A Kite features the classic IKEA Alex Draw plus solid wood countertop combo. They've gone for a Dell U3419W single monitor placed upon the IKEA Eleven monitor stand instead of mounting to the wall. Clearly an audio enthusiast with the JBL 306B Mark II monitors and a JBL LSR 310S subwoofer down below. For a mouse they've gone for the Logitech G602 wireless gaming mouse as well as a custom keyboard. Check him out on Spotify as Beautiful Billy, link is in the description down below. This time with a pole mounted single monitor, we have quite the cozy little setup from RRVQT. With some beautiful lighting provided by the Philips Hue Play Smart Bar Light Kit, this setup has a beautiful glow to it. For audio, he's using a setup of T7V Studio monitors which fit in great. You almost wouldn't notice the Fink's cat sitting in the middle of there, it looks just like a statue. 
The PC placed off to the side looks great with the glass side and cables routed at the back and under the desk. This setup by Original Dark really is phenomenal. Barely a cable in sight in this amazing blue and white themed setup. They've gone for a double monitor setup again, but with one vertically mounted. Using the Viotech GFT 27DB 27 inch 1440p 144Hz monitor as their main and an LG 24MK600M-B 24 inch 1080p 75Hz monitor to the side. The Go V 16 foot dream color LED strips provide that bright lighting at the back of the desk which really helps it stand out from the rest of the room. On the desk is the Aurea LED digital alarm clock with some creative pebbles V2 either side for audio. There is even a TV off to the side for watching in bed, however it might be a little high for my liking. The lighting on this setup really does do wonders for Dan Beltran. He's using an Orky desk lamp for the left side red glow and LED strips around the back side for the purple glow. The case is lit up by the Lian Lee Uni SL120 triple pack fans in white, nicely complemented by the Gude digital LED wall alarm clock. For monitors, he's gone for two LG UDU 6.8s, which are 27 inch 4K displays capped at 60Hz. Mounted by the Elitab dual monitor stands in black for the extra desk space on the beautiful black desk, which looks super clean. Full PC specs are in the description of course, but it's got a real beast here with a Gigabyte Vision 3090 GPU and a Threadripper 3970X CPU. For peripherals, he's gone for the G502 Lightspeed Wireless and a Ducky 7 Shine Blackout with HyperX pudding keycaps. And so concludes the top 10 setups of the day. Check out the description for links to a lot of the gear I've mentioned in the video if you want to check them out. If you want to see more of these incredible setups make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss the next episode. Leave a comment down below which setup you think should have been number one.